Hello everyone, welcome to this data structure series for Android developers at my channel Native Mobile Bits. In our previous video, we have learned about linked list basic and its core building block called Node. And if you have missed this video, I would highly recommend to check this whiteboard explanation first and then you can follow along this coding video. Now in this video, we are going to implement this Node class. So let's get back to our Kotlin playground and we are using Kotlin playground because we don't want any coding suggestion from our ID. So we are going to implement this class node and this node class has two things one value of its own and then one reference of the next node. So we are defining a class node and it can hold values of any type. So we are defining as generic type T and we know that one node can has a value and a reference to the next node. So let's define these two values. So one variable for our node class will be its own value and this value can also be of any type and then we need one next node reference okay so we are defining one variable next node and this will also be of type node and it can also hold value of any type t so that's why we have defined this generic type t okay and we know that the last node will not have any further reference so the reference can also be null okay so we can define this as nullable we have defined a node class and let's make this class as data class because it will hold some data and this is of generic type and it is having two parameters one value of its own and then next node reference okay let's go inside this class and let's override to a string method okay and this method will return a string so let's define this as returning a string here and inside this function we are going to check that if the next node is not null that means next node is having a valid value so we will form one string template we will use this value and then we will use this symbol for our reference and then we will take this next node and we will use this to string method okay if next node is not null then this will be our value and if next node is null so we will just form one string template with the help of this current value okay like this this is one node class which we have created so our node should have two things one value one reference of the next node we have created the same class node which has one value of its own and one reference to the next node and then we are having this two string method overrided and it is just checking that if next node is not null then it is forming template based on that value and then next node and if next node is null then it is just showing the value okay and as we need to return a string we can just add a return statement here so this is our data class for our node representation now let's override main function and inside this main function we can use this data class which we just created so we can create few object of our node like this and we can just pass the value so we can just take this name parameter here 10 so we are just creating this linked list okay we can create one another node node 2 we can create one new object of node we can just pass the value argument 20 and then we can create one next node 3 with the same way we can just pass one value 30 okay so we have created three nodes like we have in our example now we need to add the reference for the next node okay so we can just take access to the first node and we can set the next node as node 2 okay and then inside node 2 we can just set the next node as node 3 okay and then node 3 does not has any further node so that's it we are just using these two node and setting the next node now let's try to print our linked list using this node 1 because node 1 has the further node so it will keep on printing from here let's run our example 
so it's printing the same link list 10 20 30 okay now if we have one more node we want to define one more node so we can just use the same way we can create value 40 we can create one new node 4 and in the node 3 we can add the next node as node 4 okay so it will print 10 20 30 and 40 as the link list okay this way node works so inside a node we can hold two things one value and one next node so as we learnt inside our whiteboard explanation that a node can has two things one value of its own and one reference for the next node we have created one data class node and it is having one value of its own and then it is having the reference for the next node so this way we can define our own representation of node which is the building block of linked list and stay tuned for the next video in this series we are going to learn a lot of things and in the next video i will tell you more about linked list